this video here, I'm gonna be installing one of these LED third brake lights in an 87 Chevy Caprice. Shout out to 78 Chevy boy and 87 Chevy thing. That was the first two I seen do it on YouTube. I'm gonna put both of them channel links in the description. I also have them popping up so y'all can go check them out. I'm pretty sure most of y'all already subscribed to 78 Chevy boy. But I have both of them channels down in the description. This video here is installing this third brake light. It came out of a Roro Oldsmobile. The first step you need to do, you need to measure the middle of it. So I'm going by this crease here on the trunk. And that little push-in clip right here. I got them lined up. Then I just got it enough so I have a little a little space so so the uh, light don't sit the regular to the glass. So I got it where I want it. Took me a magic marker or a permanent marker, whatever you want to call it. And I traced the bottom all the way along the bottom. Show me where I need to cut. So you can see it. That's where I'm gonna cut it at. Which you probably could have just drew a straight line. Cause it look like it's straight, but I thought it had a little curve in it, but I guess it don't. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut this. Then we're gonna cut it back on. Okay, I done cut it off. And then what you wanna do, you wanna cut this right here. And you probably can't see. Just use a jigsaw to cut it. And I used a DA just to smooth it off the edges. But what you want to do now, you want to cut your angle because the back glass slant down and out. So you want to cut your angle so this will sit flush up to the glass. Because if you don't cut an angle, it's going to be in the way and it's going to be a gap at the bottom. See how the ends bevel? Let me take you outside and show you what I was talking about in the car. It's gonna be sitting somewhat like that once the trim go in. But you see how it's sitting flush on the back glass. This is gonna be the last uh, clipping of this video. So I'm gonna just wait till I put the trim pieces on and redo my LS top. Then I'm gonna start the videos back over. But it's gonna be all one video, it's just different clips. I just wanted to show you how to cut it before I had uh, Got everything done. Stay tuned. Before I install the third brake light, I got this trim piece here. I'm finna wrap it. But I had to repair it. It was cracked on three spots. Right here you can see I fiberglass it. It's it's fiberglass itself. So fiberglass work well with it. Fiberglass this area here too. I put some fill on the front side just to kind of smooth it off. Also over here. This is just only on the LS Broham box shapes. I'm finna wrap it in some bed like material. I'm gonna have to do it in three spots. I'm gonna have to do it no four. It's gonna be four different pieces. Piece up here, piece at the bottom, and two pieces on the side.
finished wrapping it. It's like a velvet material. Now I'm gonna go get the third brake light and wrap it in the same material. I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this third brake light with the same material. I'm also gonna wrap these pieces here. They go in the back on the C pillars. Just the little trim pieces. Finished up on wrapping the pieces. Okay, I got my fiberglass trim piece. Got it wrapped. Got my third brake light wrapped. It's gonna sit. Once I put this trim piece in the back window, this third brake light, it's gonna sit up in here like this. But it don't sit flush, as you can see. Because this here, this opening here. What I'm gonna do, I just got some more fabric on some foam. I cut it to size. I'm gonna do it like that. Then I'm just gonna go back and trim it all the way around. So the hide they get. Let me go ahead and do that. This is what I was going for. Now I'm just going to put some glue on it. I'm going to put some glue right here. And some right here. Just glue it down. And when I screw it down to the shell, it should stay in place. It was like a metal clip here. It was sticking up right there. I just pulled it off. And I'm going to drill a hole right here. That's going to be my metal mountain screw. I'm going to take my drill and I'm going to drill a hole somewhere up in here because this is where the wiring connection's at. I'm going to drill a hole right here so I can fish my wires through here. I'll show you what I got so far. I drilled this hole out earlier. It lines up with the original hole. It's three holes that screws secure the top onto. This one, this one, this one. They're original holes. So I drilled this one so it lined up with that one. Then I went back and drilled one here and one here. And that's this one and that one. And that's the hole for the wire. So what I'm gonna have to do, I'm gonna have to go get some longer screws so I can secure this to the top. And I don't know if I'm gonna go with some washers on the other side to keep it from coming out, or I might just put some fiberglass filler on the back side and drill the screws into it. But I Figure that out once I go get the screws. I'm gluing my filler strip on now. Got it right here. Waiting for the glue to dry. Then I'm just stick it on. Got it glued on. You see, I let it sit up a little bit above this part here. Because once I screw it down, it's going to pull it on down some. I'm back from Lowe's with my screws and nuts.
I decided to go ahead and put a, a washer and nut behind this instead of just drilling it into some fiberglass or some fiberglass filler. I got some screws with some nuts on it. But this one here, I got this screw here. It's long enough to go through my third brake light. Also, do the original attachment. So I got this one for the middle. Then I'm gonna have two of these for one here and one here. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and scuff these heads up, and I'm gonna paint it. I'm gonna paint them gray. Got some gray spray paint here. I'm just gonna paint the heads up. Let me go ahead and do that, and I'll cut you back on. My screws sand it down. I'm gonna go ahead and paint them gray. I'm also gonna paint the ones that attach this onto the back of the glass. It's six of them in all, but I'm really just gonna need five because I'm gonna use this longer one to go through the third brake light. Go ahead and paint them gray. My screw is drying up from the spray paint. I'm gonna go ahead and wire this up. Just got two wires. I'm just gonna use some old speaker wire. Okay, here. I'm just gonna fish it through this hole right here. And I'm gonna have it running along the back side, back down into the original third brake light wire. got a fish through. I got me some heat shrink on it. It's the heat shrink tubing. Got this from Harbor Freight. Got different sizes in it. You can just use a heat gun, heat it up, and then shrink it on. Let me go ahead and connect it. Attach my third brake light onto my piece. As you can see this screw here. It should go all the way through both pieces. See this screw here gonna screw into the bracket that's in the car. I'm just gonna tighten these down here. And it's gonna pull everything together once I tighten. Got it bolted down. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and put it in the car. Then I'll be good to go. Alright, that's the trim pieces to go on the side. I just got the wire taped up on the side to keep it in place, keep it from swinging all over the place. Then I'm just gonna fish the wire right down through this little hole here and connect it. It's gonna push straight up. You're gonna see it at the top. It's gonna screw down into that little bracket right there. All right, got everything screwed down. It's the third brake light there. Now I just gotta wire it up.
strip, it's going to be dimmer than what it's supposed to be. Because when P-Head got his third brake light, one of the resistors, it was messed up. And he had put the wrong resistor on there, so it made it a lot dimmer than what it's supposed to be. But he got it taken care of now. But I just wanted to let you know, in the video, the LED strip, it's going to be a lot dimmer than what it's supposed to be. Stop. Right from the bottom to the top, from the top.